Hey, what's up, everyone? This is uh, Joe Nerd. I'm Stevie T. And uh, the channel is Nerd Out with, with your, your book out. That's it. What's up, guys? Uh, the the book we're uh, gonna be reviewing now is Life Expectancy by Dean Koontz. That's right. And uh, so, Stevie T, did the book feel like a, a long book to you? Uh, no, it didn't. Um, mainly because uh, the book is based upon. Uh, the when this guy when this kid's born, uh, they tell him that there's five pivotal moments in this in this kid's life. So the book is kind of like each moment is building up to this kid's this day in the life of. So it keeps you like wanting what's gonna happen on that day. So no, I I did not feel like it was long. What did you think? Um, the book didn't. I wouldn't say it dragged, but it like you said five pivotal moments. So the whole book, you're just leading up to these moments. Right. These moments happen, and then boom, you're on to the next one because right. you know it's over. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I guess I guess I I wouldn't say it dragged, but in between, I do remember when I read the book, I was kind of like, man, let's get to the next one. I don't know if I can classify that it dragged or it's just man, I, I just wanted more action. Uh, but it was a good read, easy read, and um, yeah, easy to follow. wasn't wasn't overly complicated. Um, each each part of the the five parts that was the day weren't um you know ludicrous or something that was unbelievable so that was nice it wasn't you know something ridiculous and i do like the the way that the book picked up the story uh right in the beginning yeah, it's not right away right away it throws boom, you in it boom they hear these five events and 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 you're already reading and anticipating the next event and dean Kutz tends to do that I've yes, he Dean, tends to do. He, he he gets you and he grabs you and and, and you're in. You're sucked in. Yeah, for if sure. If you saw, if you've seen our previous video we did about Odd Thomas, we spoke about Dean Koontz before, um, and it was said similar things. The book, every time he writes a book, he sucks you in right in the beginning. So that's always a good thing for any author out there to do. So if they had a sequel, would you read it? Um. Short answer: No. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay uh, I would uh, I, I really really like the book uh, again this is another book we, we read a while ago and um, if there was another one to come out I, I would definitely read it um, I just felt like it was a story it was done and that was it you know what I mean like that's why I, that's why I say that I feel like that was his story the five days and it's over I hear you. If somehow Dean Coons is able to <laughs> meet, maneuver, uh, I don't know, some the story some right. way somehow, uh, yeah, I, w I would definitely, uh, if he was to come out with a, a sequel, I, I would read it. So uh, let's do the rating. Beginning, middle, and oh, end of the book. Yes, the famous. Uh, I, you know what? I'm going to give this book, um, I'm going to give it uh, an eight in the beginning, seven in the middle. And an eight at the end. Uh, I'm going lucky sevens all the way across. Sevens all the way. I was I I never hit like a little patch. Uh, it was kind. Of, it sucked me in the beginning. The middle kept it going, and then it ended. I wouldn't say that there was any part beginning, middle, end that was better than any other any other parts. So that's why I'm going sevens across the board. Okay. And uh, all in all, I think as a whole, I would give this book an eight. As a whole, well, I'm gonna stay seven. Seven, That's pretty easy to say. All right, seven. all right. I guess it's still, I'm. It's worth a read. Not yeah. Oh yeah, worth, it's worth the read. read. It's yeah. Worth the read. Uh, seven's a solid seven. Um, and another good point about having the five days break up is you can easily put it down and not really miss too much because you pick it up and then it's you know. You're on to, it's you're like, on to the next. Yeah, it's like a little books. So if you don't have a lot of time to sit down and read a whole book start to finish, this book would be perfect for you because, like I said, there's five different parts, like major parts, and you can put it down for a week and because you're busy, whatever, and then you pick it up and, you know, you're right back in it. You're good. Yeah. So uh, so I guess that's it, right? Anything else? Um, the no. next book. The next book. Oh, yes. The next book I have the list is, oh, this is a recent book, uh, Dark Matter. Mm. Okay, Dark Matter. Check All right. it out. Look for it. All right. Uh, nerd out with your book out. Make Subs sure you subscribe. Subscribe and uh, leave your comments down below. And we'll get back to you guys. All right. Peace out.